What's up, mga Megu? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, Carlo Boy. In this video, I will give you an idea on what to do. What you need to be aware of for being a first time on board. Especially as an electrical cadet, you should know this first before you go in your first ever ship. The title of this video is the basic things you should know before joining your first ship. There are 7 things you should know first. 1. Familiarize the ship. As a cadet, a first time on board, you should familiarize the ship. As you join the ship, you should be familiar with it. Take notes of the unfamiliar word or location names. Ask anyone on something you don't know about the part of the ship or the location of that specific room if you have time. Ask the permission of the officer in charge to walk around the ship and familiarize yourself. Just remember, do not touch or press anything to avoid accidents. 2. Know where the safety equipment located. As a first time on board, you should know what to do in case of fire. Or something bad happens to the ship. Where the direction of the citadel is or where the exact location of all safety equipment. Just like an example of a fire stingeser and EEBD or the emergency escape breathing device. Know the procedure on the ship in case of fire emergency. 3. Work safety first. As an electrical cadet who doesn't have AC-based experience, you don't have permission to touch or push anything in the ship. Because it's dangerous making mistakes in the ship, ask first before doing anything. Be an observant to all people that are working. Just to have an idea, always think of your safety in doing some work. If your senior tells you to fix something and you feel uncomfortable, please say that you don't have an idea on that. Don't always say yes, in doing some work, that you don't know yet. 4. Knows all the names of the tools. As a first time on board, having no experience on a ship, you should be familiarized or know what are the names of all tools and equipment, specialty in electrical works. There are books in the ship that have a list of all the tools. So much better to familiarize on it. 5. Assist the electrical senior. As an electrical cadet you should always respect and give your best in assisting your electrical senior. For how many months you and electrical senior are always accompanied together. That is why whatever he or she says, you should listen carefully just to avoid mistakes in doing your work. Always be attentive and quick on whatever he or she asks you to bring to him. 6. Have knowledge on how to read diagrams. As an electrical cadet on board, a first timer, you should have an idea on how to read the wiring diagram. Because in a ship, it has different symbols compared to the land-based symbols. That is why you need to study and research about the ship electrical. Much better if you have a soft copy of ship electrical notes. If you need those PDFs, just message Electrical Philippines Inc. on their Facebook page. 7. Master the basic wiring. As a cadet, you should always be an observant. And have always common sense in doing something. Replacing the lamp in the ship is a basic thing. That's why you need to know it already. And also some maintenance of machinery like cleaning of motors and other electrical devices. If you are already in a ship, just always be positive thinking. That this is the moment you've been praying for. So just bring your best on it. And always study, study, study. I hope you learned something in this video. Thank you for watching. Ingat!
Thank you.